I had you turn to Isaiah 35, look at verse number 3. The Bible reads, Strengthen ye the weak hands, and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, Be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Even God with a recompense, He will come and save you. The Jews here were faced with annihilation, with total destruction. The decree already went forth. It wasn't even a debate. It wasn't even up in the air. It wasn't even a question. Hey, this is going to happen. And the law of the Medes and the Persians was, it can't be altered. Once it's gone forth, you can't just change it. You can't, you can't just veto that once it's already been placed into law. So this has already been established, which is why later on we see that the way that he countervails that is that he basically allows the Jews to be able to defend themselves and to prepare against that day, and, and they end up getting a lot of other support and help from other people to help them against the people that were going to try to actually harm them and kill them. It doesn't undo, I mean, it, it does undo it, but, not, but it's not like a withdrawal of saying, well, this is no longer the law, or this, this decree is no longer valid. It's just another decree going forth that's going to, in, in essence, undo it. But you, they, they couldn't just undo things. They couldn't just repeal laws in their, in their system of government, in their laws. So they weren't able to do that. But with that in their face, right, with the fear that would go along with something like that, that, that Esther must have been, been feeling and, and, and dealing with, like the Bible says here, you know, say to them of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. You don't have any reason to fear. Why do we have no reason to fear? For your God will come with vengeance. Don't worry, God is a God of vengeance and God will repay. And whatever wrongs are, are planning on being done to you, are being done to you, or will be, you know, don't fear. Because God will repay. God is a God of vengeance. Even God with the recompense, he will come and save you. And then we keep reading here, look at verse number 5 of Isaiah. I believe this passage is very prophetic, too, of, of, of future events, of end times events. We keep reading, verse 5 says, Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap as in heart, and the tongue of the dumb sing, for in the wilderness shall waters break out, and streams in the desert, and the parched ground shall become a pool and the thirsty land, springs of water, and the habitation of dragons where each lay shall be grass with reeds and rushes. And in highway shall be there, and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those, the wayfaring men, though fools shall not err therein. No lion shall be there, nor any ravenous beast shall go up thereon. It shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there, and the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. This is something obviously great to be looking forward to, to a day where, where the sorrow and the sighing and every tear can be wiped from, from, every, from people's eyes. And, and the, the, the fear of death is going to be eliminated and the, the, the fears that just go along in general with this world when you have a righteous king and a righteous judge sitting on the throne, all of the, the, the cares are going to be wiped away. And you'll, you'll, you'll be able to really truly experiencing everlasting joy in the kingdom of God. <clears throat> 